Hello and welcome to Taxidermy Insider, your online taxidermy training center. My name is Austin Staling. I'm a full-time taxidermist and instructor at Taxidermy Insider. In this course, we'll be going over how to mount a flying pheasant. We'll cover all aspects of the process, from the initial inspection of the bird for damage, to skinning and fleshing, to the mounting and finishing process. As you can see, we have some of the basic supplies laid out needed to mount a flying pheasant. We will cover all these more in depth as we proceed with the course. We do offer a list of supplies and tools needed in the download section on the course page. To start, we want to check the bird over for any damage. We want to look for pin feathers, also known as blood feathers or new growth feathers. We want to check the head for pin feathers, the neck area. I'm not seeing a lot on this particular specimen. Another common spot where you'll find pin feathers is on the back by the tail. I'm not seeing a lot. This looks like a very prime mature bird. The legs can also be pin feathered. It's, like I said again, a very mature bird. Now we want to check the wings for any shot damage. Uh, we want to look at the feathers to make sure that they haven't been shot up and broke apart. These look very nice. We want to check to make sure that there's no broken bones. If there is broken bones, that may determine what pose we put the bird in. If it has a severely shattered bone, it would be better to go with a standing mount versus flying. This bird looks like it has very good wings. I'm not seeing any noticeable shot damage and no noticeable broken bones. I do see a slight bald spot up here, but we're not going to worry about that. The client's aware of that and did opt for going with a flying mount. We want to check the legs for broken bones. Uh, oftentimes these would be broken from handling. Hunters carry them by the legs. Broken bones on legs are very easy to fix, so it's usually not a determining factor on the pose for the mount. This one looks very nice. I am noticing quite a bit of dried on blood on the neck. This is going to have to get sprayed out initially. I'm not seeing a lot of damage as if they had wrung it. It looks like everything is intact. That's something that's relatively easy to fix, but we will have to be aware of that potential damage when we're working on it because that will be a more delicate area. I'm also going to check the bird for any noticeable shot damage in the feathers. Uh, this looks pretty good. Oftentimes there will be dog damage or shot damage from where they shoot it. The next thing I want to check is to make sure the bird isn't starting to rot. Uh, some of the classic areas is the feathers will be coming out of the head and the feathers will also be coming out near the vent. 